So I've all seen the news and everything else, and it's all starting to run across to all the news networks as far as, you know, possible food shortages, stores are running low on products, and all this type of stuff. Well, we knew that was coming. That's no surprise, okay? What I want to talk to you about today, we're going to make a quick, short video. I want to make sure that everybody out there knows, all right, especially all you new preppers and everybody that's new to my channel and everything else, you can find out a lot of information about a lot of different topics, all right? I break it down into a lot of different playlists for you, make it so easy for you, all right? I have a playlist just for beginners. Anybody that out there watching my channel, if you're a beginner, I have a playlist especially for you. All right, it breaks down everything that you need in videos as far as your food, water, supplies, the, the whole nine yards. Show you how to pack rice. I've got a whole playlist just on rice and how to do it. And um, it, it's, it's very simple, it's very inexpensive. It can be expensive if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. I have playlists on canned goods. A lot of the canned goods that are the best to buy, to have on hand, that last the longest. What does the best I buy date mean? I have all that covered in all these videos. On gear, on different, all different types of things. You know, hurricane season is just about over, but I do have a complete series on being prepared for hurricanes if you live in a hurricane prone area. So I just want to bring a video out there and tell everybody, yes, you still have time and you may have to come up with some creative ways to make sure that you have a decent stockpile. If you can't get something at one store, you may have to drive to another store. You may have to drive out of your way to go to a store. You want to make sure that you're trying to do your shopping in the morning because that's your best chance of getting any products. Don't wait till the evening. There won't be nothing left. Make sure that you're being prepared. Make sure you're staying safe. And check out all the playlists and everything that I have, especially for all you new people to my channel and all you new beginners to prepping. And I know there's a lot of you out there. I have the information. I've done the videos. If you have any questions, Put them in the comment section. I do my best to answer them. Work's a little busy right now, so it may take me a few days to get through them. Um, but I try to answer them as many as I can. And I appreciate everything that you, everybody has done for my channel. And for everybody liking my videos, commenting on my videos, and subscribing to my channel. My whole main thing is to keep you safe. That's why I do what I do. That's why I set up all the playlists and stuff to make it so easy for your enjoyment, for your entertainment, and for your safety. So until next time, there's a lot of stuff going on in the news. You still have time, people. Execute it wisely. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. For all you new preppers out there that are just watching my video or haven't subscribed to my channel, this is my channel and this is what I'm talking about. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. These are some of my playlists, the top five videos on my channel. Storing rice long term, all you need to know. It's great information in there on storing rice, just rice. New to prepping videos to help get you started. This is great for all you new preppers. This will help get you started, help point you in the right direction that you need to go. Popular uploads, storing your dry goods, rice, flour, sugar, and more covers a lot of different areas. Lots of videos in there. Long-term food storage, how to do it. Hurricane season. Hurricane season is about over, but I did an extensive series on here, how to be prepared for a hurricane if you live in a hurricane prone area. Emergency kits, all different types of kits and everything else that you need in case of an emergency to help get you through. Maps, GPS or compass, 
some information you may want to know. You got to know how to get out of harm's way and how to do it. And maybe some books to help you along the way. Gear you need to survive. You have to have gear and everything else in case you have to leave your house. You can't always stay at home. Sometimes you have to hit the road. So you got to make sure you have the gear for it. That's just some of the playlist. Then there's more. I have quite a few. And this way here, you guys can all stay safe. And that's the whole key.